In the rural town of Strathroy, the co-workers of the accused are experiencing their own turmoil. It's taken a few days to be able to drive home without crying. In a conversation with Omar Sachedina, this worker, afraid to show his face, is second-guessing signs he may have ignored. I don't know. Looking back on it, it seems like maybe there was a little bit of something there, but I never thought much of it. Like what? It just, it seemed like he was kind of suspicious of them. He didn't hate them, though. Suspicious of who? Of Muslims, specifically. Did he say why? He just he thought they were, you know, different people. He thought they weren't peaceful, like they claimed to be. Something one of my coworkers said to me at work is, you know, if he was having a tough time that night, we all wish we would have gotten a call from him. None of us would have been too busy to hear him out to avoid this happening. There is definitely a part of me looking back on things and wondering what I could have done differently. We're, we all have the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And what do you wish you would have done or could have done or should have done? I wish I would have reached out to him on Saturday. I wish I would have messaged him on Sunday, asked him how he was doing. Sometimes, it's hard to take that first step when you're the person going through it. So outreach is really important. That boy lost his whole family, you know, he has to go through life with that burden just because of this. And none of us really understand why this had to happen.